Alrighty, vlog 26, half marathon training. Um, real quick, uh, let me kind of, I'm trying to format these a little bit more, so I'm going to make an attempt at doing that. First things first, I'm going to talk about uh, kind of how I'm feeling after my long run yesterday and such, and what the plan is for this upcoming week, and a little bit of information about like what my plan is for the trail race next Sunday. So, how I'm feeling is not not great. Um, I'm pretty sore, pretty much everywhere from the waist down. Um, not terrible. Not like not like uh, that. I, it was leg day yesterday, and I overdid it soreness to where every time you move, you're making a bunch of pain noises. Um, but it's reasonably sore. I'm not limping or anything, which is good because I have a rule where if I have anything that's causing me to limp, um, I don't run until that goes away. I take some sessions off. Uh, my feet are the thing that's more concerning than my sore legs because the bottoms of my feet still feel like I was running on sandpaper, not in shoes yesterday. And I've got little blisters on the tips of the majority of my small toes, uh, which are not terribly comfortable. But today I have remembered to put Vaseline all over my feet, even though that may not even be an issue today because it's cold again today. It's like 38 degrees right now, 36, 38. Um, so the, the whole issue that causes that hot spot seems to be heat and we don't really have that today, but I figured it's probably a good idea since they're already tender. So that's kind of how I'm feeling after the last run, which leads me into why I'm changing my plan leading into the trail race. So I had said in a previous vlog that I was not planning on doing any sort of taper before this race, really. Um, I was just going to kind of fidget with my miles the day before so that it kind of still added up the same number of miles that are in my plan. Well, first things first, I looked at my plan again. The plan for this week, it was supposed to be a drop down week in mileage, like a severe drop down week. It was supposed to have two days of four miles and two days of five miles. And that's it. So for 18 miles total. The amount of miles that I did in the last seven day time period last week, mainly because I was adding miles onto the plan. Sorry, I know any trainer out there who hears that wants to beat me over the head. Um, but it was just like one mile here, one mile there to get some blood flow to my legs on days they were sore. Okay, forgive me. But um, anyway, uh, so that makes for 18 miles. But in the last seven days, um, as of yesterday, I actually had 31 point something miles in the week. So I'm realizing with how beat up my legs feel and how beat up my feet feel, I probably should do some sort of kind of mini taper for this. Um, I want to get my total mileage for the week down a little bit closer to what uh, the plan actually had. I'm still not going to be hitting that if I reach my goal mileage on race day. Um, I'm aiming to do 14 miles, which is a little over a half marathon. Um, I'm only aiming for 14 instead of the even half marathon because it's a two mile loop and you only get credit for each loop that you actually complete with the actual race. So that's kind of important to me, but that's the plan. If I am able to do 14 miles on that day, then I really don't want to be doing five plus five is 10 plus two. That's 12 plus 14 is 26. So I don't want to be doing 26 miles in that week when what was on the plan was 18. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do a sort of kind of mini taper. I'm still going to run on the same days, but I'm going to do three miles on Tuesday, three miles on Thursday, and two miles on the Saturday before the race um, because my mom and I are going to go to the actual race location and I'm going to do a little jog around the course um, so that I can get an idea for what it feels like. Um, set more reason, reasonable expectations. If for some reason it just has a bunch of rolling hills in the course or something, it may be a little bit more difficult to reach my goal uh, on race day of that. So that's kind of the plan to get me down a little closer to what the mileage was supposed to be on the plan for this week, recover a little bit because I'm feeling pretty beat to hell. And I think my legs could use that recovery week. Um, and then we'll go from there. Uh, it's gonna depend on how I'm feeling after the race as to what I do the following week. But if I have to cut my miles a little bit the following week as well, that would be fine because in this seven day period, if all goes according to plan, I will still be 
a good um, like four miles over what was in the plan for this week. So if I have to drop four miles from the following week's plan, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. I'm sure there are people out there that are just like going nuts uh, at the idea that I'm altering the plan. But I'm the dum-dum who scheduled uh, another race a month before the race that I was actually signed up for the training plan for. So I got to try to make both work. Um, and to be quite honest, I'm a little more invested in the trail race because this is like my redemption race. Because last year I had wanted to do my first half marathon distance during this race. And then the weather conditions were so bad that I only got to like nine and a half miles. Um because we were slogging through six inches of muddy water and rain on a windy twisty course that was allegedly supposed to be flat but still had over the nine and a half miles I think like 700 feet of elevation gain which is not terribly flat in my opinion considering I just did a 10 miler yesterday and the elevation gain was like 185 uh I'm going to say that 700 and some odd feet of elevation gain is not particularly flat. Um, at least not by roadrunner standards. By trail running standards, that may not be that bad, actually. Uh, but I'm rambling at this point. Uh, that's my plan for this week. I'm going to do a sort of kind of mini taper um, in the hopes that that will help my legs actually recover a bit for the, for the next race. Because as it stands, they are not recovering very well and they are very sore. And I'm stiff and especially in my one hip, it's feeling a little bit not great. So that's the plan. The plan for the actual race is hopefully plan A, try to get 14 miles actually completed, which is seven loops um, in the three hours. Um, if I can't do that, I'd like to at least hit a half marathon, even if they don't give me credit for the half marathon. I want my Garmin to give me credit for that because that would be my first half marathon. And it would take the pressure off a little bit for the road half marathon because I will know I've already done a half marathon distance. To me, that makes a big difference mentally. But um, anyway, I'm talking so long here. Uh, plan C is just to get more miles than I was able to get last year at that race. Um, so more than 9.5. And then plan D is that I just keep going in the race, whether it be walking or what. Um, even if I have to do somersaults to the end uh, for the entire three hours and not stopping early. So those are kind of my goals. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to get going on this run and get it done. And I will possibly check in with you on the run. Otherwise, I will get back to you at the end. Okay, we're a little over a quarter mile in to my little four mile slog today. <laughs> um, I am really stiff. It's starting to loosen up just a little bit though. Like, especially my left leg was just really not having it when I started and it's starting to feel significantly better now so that's good but oh boy I'm beat up today I'm really glad I decided to lessen my miles this upcoming week I think my body needs it I hate having to do it because it's so much more fun tacking on miles and seeing how many you can get in a week but I can tell if I keep doing that at this point without giving my body a little bit more recovery that it's going to be a problem. So I'm going to try practicing for once in my life <laughs> actually being smart about that and listening to my body and giving it a little bit of a rest because um, I've been Historically, I've been quite bad about that, and it has caused me to have to take time off of running to recover from stupid injuries that I caused with my bullheadedness. So, we're gonna try not to do that this time. It's so hard though, because I'm addicted to those miles, but I gotta get over it. Well, I'm almost two miles in to four miles. And I've loosened up quite a bit. I feel a lot better. Um, my feet are feeling fine, but I'm not entirely sure if that's because they actually aren't hurting or it's just because they're so frozen that uh, I can't feel them. But my legs are feeling significantly better than at the beginning of the run. 
and I'm almost at the turnaround point. So, yay! Okay, we're finishing up the vlog. I went ahead and finished my four mile run for the day. That went not too bad. I was real stiff and sore and having a real hard time with my one leg. It felt significantly worse than the other leg at the beginning, but kind of got better after the first mile. Um, and I think I averaged about, let's see, hold on. I can stop. There's nobody on this road at all. Um, let's see what it says. Yeah, I averaged 12 minutes, 49 seconds a mile, um, which is good. I don't know what it is, but I swear I managed to get faster paces on days that I'm sore than some other days when I'm not. But uh, yeah, uh, run went decently well. Um, my feet started having problems again towards the end of the run in the last like half mile, but nothing too terrible. So that was good. I think what I'm gonna do, since I have to go back to REI to return those handheld water bottles I got anyway, is I think I might, since I just received a gift card from them for like 60 bucks because of my membership like redemption stuff, um, I think I might get a couple new pairs of running socks and try a couple of different brands since uh, mine seem to be giving me hot spots and blisters. I'd like to try some maybe different socks and see, see if it can make a difference. I kind of want to try the darn tough socks. I think it's interesting to have a sock that has a lifetime warranty. So I might get some of those and test those out. But I'm going to wrap this up because this is going to be kind of a long vlog. Um, I am brain dead too, so I'm having the hardest time figuring out what I'm going to say. I'm also back at a, a light that doesn't seem to have been functioning the past couple days. It doesn't seem to sense my car here, so it just skips my turn. And I keep having to turn right instead and pull a Yui, but we'll see if it can tell that my car's here this time. And I don't get stuck here for a half hour like I did the other day while I was trying to follow the rules. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you guys are running out there, I hope your runs are going well and you have a good day. Bye-bye.